So I think I came up with a way to convert LAS to uh, some sort of format that is uh, usable by VT Builder. I'm using ASC. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded some aerial ortho imagery and the LAS files of a golf course uh, in Michigan from uh, Earth Explorer. And uh, the, uh, the software that you want to use is this LAS Tools. I have a link for it uh, in this as well. So what you're going to go ahead and do is open up LAS Tools. It's, uh, once you get it downloaded, go ahead and extract it to wherever you want. I just do it on the desktop for easy access. And it's nothing to install. You're just going to go ahead and open it up and uh, go into the bin folder. And there's a bunch of programs here. We're just going to use this top one, blast to dem.exe. That's the one that I've used. Works pretty well. You can also use that LAS to DEM, but we'll go ahead and do this. Close like that, right? Go ahead and accept. And this one gets to be a little uh, different, old school, yes. Go ahead and hit browse. Change your directory here to whatever directory your files are in. Mine are in C. And you get to go all the way through your directory. How much fun is this? desktop to SCC and there we go there are the LAS files and we go ahead and put that and there's all of them right there so just double click them to add them and just add all four for this and there we go there's all the files and we go ahead and just double check here get rid of that we don't need that we go ahead and recreate those anyway so so once we've got all the files in here now we're gonna actually talk right over to here job make sure it's one job and how many of the cores you have uh, output you need to go into here and find the directory and where you want to output you go ahead and do c again change now and go to users and we're just going to save it in that folder to the desktop asc and we're going to do the asc files that's where we're going to save them and just current okay. file name i don't know if this really works but it's always helpful that just put something here anyway. Nothing in the appendix is needed. Sample points. It says if you use 5 million or under, it won't have dashes. I've used under 5 million. It still has dashes that go across. They, to me, haven't been too much of an interference. I'm just going to leave it there at that 5 million. Seems good. Uh, you want to do elevation as your item and then actual values. And then we're going to go ahead and specify the size of our raster. And we're going to go size of 4096. You can go, I would actually go probably larger than this, but just for the sake of this, I want to make it a little bit faster. Um, go faster, go larger, and you can just downsize in Photoshop or um, somewhere else along the process, I think, and make sure that you maintain as much quality as possible. And then choose the ASC format. That's the one that worked best for me to get geographical data into VT Builder. Go ahead and run. And start. So well, that's running. Uh, we'll see those pop up. We'll see these pop in the ASC files folder, but uh, we'll talk about that more though imagery. Um, get rid of these. Do this southeast one. So this is the ortho files that you download right from Earth Explorer. Go hop in over here and a couple file folders in. In the volume here, that's where you're going to find your TIFF file. Pull up both of those, pull them wherever, and we'll just let that work. Okay. Back up, and then the index in the shape files under that, that's where you want to pull up your projection, the PRJ for projection. You can choose this replacement for the this one here. I like. I use a replacement and the normal. I think the replacement actually works better, but I could be wrong. It's certainly not a bad idea to try both, and I'll show you where to use that. So we have the files that we need. We'll only do one of these imageries, but both of them do work all the same way. So let's see how we'll move from here. We have two working on the third. It's going to take us some more time. And as that is going, we can actually get VT Builder putting these in. And we don't need to do the PRJ files, just the ASCs. And it'll take a second. 
I gotta get one and then we'll put the rest in. There we go. That's a space square, not a big deal. But as you can see there, we already have the elevation files going right on into the VT Builder. Everything's looking great, lined up perfectly. And you can actually zoom out and I'll show you that it has all the correct geographic information to it. So now let's get this fourth one in here. There's all four minutes in the larger. And we'll zoom out, and that's about right where the golf course is Saginaw area of Michigan, Saginaw Country Club, actually. And I know this golf course pretty well, so this is the plot of the golf course right here. Excellent. And now let's go ahead and hop on back out. Let's go to this tip out here. Let's drag and drop the tip in. And no projection. Now I've did at one point actually think about renaming these. Don't rename these. They'll lose some information somehow. I don't know how, but they do. You want it to say lacks of projection, and you want to say specify yes. Okay. And we're going to actually load from file, and that's this PNJ file that we got. So you can see right there. Double click that. Great. Hit OK. And now we actually have the right projection, and we're going to hit no, as I talked about in that other video. It's going to take a second now. It always pops up behind, so there we go. The file should be right down in here, I think, where it is. These are those lines I was talking about. I don't know why they get created there. It's supposed to, but they do. I'm lucky they aren't in my way. I don't think they're going to be that much of a problem, so you could always take these out in Photoshop or again, depending on what you're using. And we do want to convert it. Takes just another second. golf course. You'll see some ponds right there if I turn this on and off. There we go, same ponds. Turn back on right in the perfect spot. So it works perfect. And uh, there you have it. Hopefully uh, you can get this to work as well for you. If you have any problems, let me know.